hopefully it's going to be done in the next two days and then we move on to something else. It would be nice if this was finished by the weekend because the weekend you'll see me up then on the roof. We'll be fixing uh, some bolt issues. We're going to remove all the old bolts. We're going to rebolt it with larger bolts. I'm going to seal every single uh, spot all the way down there so that I'll know that there isn't going to be any leaks. Well, the building itself, they've raised a whole bunch of gravel and the actual ground level is like 10, 12 inches down below. So what's happening is water is getting right next to the face of the building. We don't want it pushing in. There's already a whole bunch of rotten wood. I'll show you what we're doing in a minute after I show you some of the stuff. They've covered it up. This was all just buried in there and it was like a sponge. We could have squeezed it out. So all that broken and damaged wood in there attracts all kinds of bugs and everything else. It's trapping in water because when you look at it, it again, they've raised up the level all actually above where it should be. So everything was just sitting against the actual framework of the slab. That's the original wood down here from the slab from uh, when they first built it. And I was told this was built in 84 by one of the neighbors. So that gives you an idea how good that wood held up except where they baked it in. And since there's cement end pieces that stick out over here, it traps the water in here. So I've dug, we've already buried a bunch of it already, but we've dug a um, pit here, a trench all the way along, and we're putting in a perforated drain pipe basically a French drain all the way down. Now, normally I wouldn't start to bury it, but this stuff is gravel and it is hard packed. And if it rains, which it's supposed to, it's going to pretty much stick this back together. And it was hard enough to dig this through here if you don't know. So we're leveling it off, making sure that everything is matching the level and the depth all the way down the building. Obviously it goes downhill when it gets to the end, we're gonna whip it around here. There was some water coming in at the door so I've had to seal and do some other stuff, but we're gonna trench around to the back. Obviously, we're almost done with it. As soon as this is done, we're going to close off the walls and get the last few spots uh, in the roof fixed. We've got a few spots here and there. I've been replacing uh, screws in some places. You can see some new ones there, new one there, new one there, there. So we're actually uh, sealing it all up. Dogs are going crazy. There's Wilhelmina running back over and here comes Jack following right behind. Uh, but this is what we're working on right now. Hopefully it's going to be done in the next two days and then we move on to something else. It would be nice if this was finished by the weekend because the weekend you'll see me up then on the roof. We'll be fixing uh, some bolt issues. We're going to remove all the old bolts. We're going to rebolt it with larger bolts. I'm going to seal every single uh, spot all the way down there so that I'll know that there isn't going to be any leaks. Um, these doors again will be coming off. Uh, so you can kind of see what's going on here just one last time level it off It's almost 60 feet of pipe in the front. We've already got the side already taken care of there We don't have to touch the back. So all we really have to do here is uh, Wrap it around here dig a little deeper dig the trench out to the back area there And that's pretty much it. It'll spick it off into the field out back. So no big deal with that, but Everything takes time, so that's where we're at with this. Again, I'd love to have everything all tightened up in the whole works, but it makes no sense whatsoever to fix it all up and then still have an issue where water could back up because again, some of the gravel is above the ground level of the inside of the building, and it should never be that way. Um, I don't wanna dig out a, geez, a foot deep of gravel and you know, there's clay on the bottom of all this too. So he's compacted it, the previous owner, so that he could get vehicles in and out of here. He had a million dollars worth of cars. There was two Ferraris, some Maseratis and things like that in this garage. The very first time I saw the inside and one of the few times I got to see the cars. But uh, anyway, 
again, everything takes time. I've had people say, well, you should just move it and do it all at once. I'm still running a business. I don't want to shut anything down. I don't want to lose the clientele I have. I don't want to lose the purchases and the pickers I have. So I've got to do it very, very carefully. We're going to put an art studio in here and a bunch of other things are going inside the building. So however you look at it, I want it the way I want it. And I don't care if it takes a little extra time. I've got a solid area to list inside. We've got a solid area to take photos and do all sorts of things inside here too. Um, the only other thing I'm still waiting on is a cable to run it to um, the, the barn out here, the, the pole barn out here from there for the internet. Because you can't get internet hardly at all inside a building like this, no matter what I do. Um, so we're just going to put a, I'll drop a line, we've already got them you know, scheduled, it's just a matter of waiting for our internet company to put it out. You can have anybody do it basically, but I'll just have them do it, it's reasonably priced. Um, it's like a hundred bucks for them, a service call for them to trench it, tack it, put it where it needs to be and install it, seal it and everything. So plus 52 cents a foot or something. So for 150 bucks, 160 bucks, I'll be all set there, ready to go. So again, that's where the steps are, where we're at. I wrote this all out before we started it. I wanted to make sure I, I took care of everything. I, I planned everything out. We wrote it all out in a chart. What needs to be done first? Obviously water issues on the bottom so it's not rolling in. Top issues, there's I think 12 little spots. But we're just, just gonna replace any bolt that looks like it has any types of issues on the top, screws, bolts, nails, whatever, and then seal each one on top of that with the, the official roofing stuff, the 20 year patch stuff, whatever it is, and uh, go from there. So once all that that's done the inside will be uh, you know a breeze we can go from there we've got septic tank septic tanks gonna be uh, installed right over here very shortly as soon as it's dry enough to put one in so it'll supply uh, for a bathroom and sinks and stuff inside the building as well so now I'm done for the day I think we have like five hours into running the whole length almost of the uh, actual building. I've got it all the way down, but obviously I have to have some playroom here. So we've buried it uh, up to the point that uh, we won't have to worry about it being moved or anything else like that. Now I leveled everything. And even when you're done, the biggest factor is here, I'm still gonna have to make sure everything goes downgrade. So nothing goes towards the building itself. I know I have the drain in there, but obviously if everything sloped towards the building, the water's still going to go towards the building. So basically um, we're just raking it away until we have a, uh, obviously a uh, direction heading away from the barn itself. This is probably an eight hour, nine hour hand tool specific uh, job that we did here too. Uh, the kids helped and everything, so it wasn't like terrible, but uh, it, it's very compacted. So you can kind of get the gist on the rest of the journey here. I've already got it kind of smacked down, so it shouldn't be as bad going around here. We weren't sure on the depth until we got down this far. Uh, so anyway, we just need to go down a little farther. It's gonna be right on through here and then right on down the back. Now that's all soft as you go down towards the end of the building. So it'll be a lot easier. Just be a shovel quick, 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 an hour or so. I should probably be able to clear that last little section. This will take far longer, maybe an hour and a half to make sure this all goes good because they compacted it. And the water was actually going towards the building because everything sloped down from the gravel here. So there would be a big, huge puddle of water here rolled in. I've actually sealed everything there's some damage I don't have the sheet metal in yet around here sheet metal is very hard to come by so I've just temporarily sealed it to stop any water coming in again I've went down we've checked every screw all the way down the whole sides um, there's just one or two little spots that we're going to address then I'm going to hop up on the roof we're going to fix the any issues going up forward on the roof we're gonna put a, um, a covered area here so we can park vehicles still that runs the length of the barn doors. There's actually like a four by eight or something in there, like a massive size beam across the whole length of this where the barn doors are. There's probably six by six beams or maybe six by eight beams on either side of the barn doors. So all told, there's plenty of structure here to support anything else that I may need to add to it. So 
going forward, the water's not going to get in from the top, the sides, or the bottom. That's the big thing. Most people repair the roof and then they think they're done. They don't check on water coming in from the ground or anything else like that. Getting the water away from the bibbling too will help stabilize any of the cracks that were in the slab inside, which we're going to seal. Again, I'm doing it stages at a time. Anyway, that's it for today. Hopefully that gave you some thoughts, some ideas. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.